Hello and welcome, Paul here, and today I'm bringing you Sheltered, an early access game developed by Unicube and published by Team17 Digital. Now, Sheltered is a post-apocalyptic disaster management simulator, so you'll basically have a family that you need to keep alive, they'll be living in a fallout shelter, and yeah, things will go wrong, supplies will run low, everyone will start going a little strange. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Now I've already played this just to get used to the controls. Now we need to make the family and now I get to customize what the parents and children look like. And as you can see here we've got gender. You could change what they look like, what they wear, the colors on their pants, change the skin color, there's a bunch of different hairstyles, head types which is basically the hair, sorry that was hair color, that's hairstyles, you can change what they wear, and then you can mess with their traits, now I'm assuming this is something similar to The Sims where, for example, hygienic would mean they stay clean for longer or they're more resistant to getting dirty in the sense that, you know, they don't have to shower and keep clean as much. And then the stats. And, uh, this guy's well rounded. I guess there's presets. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure what all of these actually do. I have a good idea. The strength would be, you know, combat instances, dexterity, perhaps traveling, blocking, things like that. Intelligence. There's a whole bunch of things. Charisma, I'm guessing, is when you're talking to someone. But, um, yeah, I don't really know what type of effect they have in-game. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and random a family. I'm just going to random it a few times. Uh, first of all, I want to do the parents. Okay, here we go. That's Mark. He's a well-rounded individual. I don't think his traits actually get randomized, so I'm going to go ahead and make that courageous. And his stat presets... will make him fairly athletic. Yeah, sure. Now, parent number two, the mom. Just gonna randomize her a bit until we get someone we'd like. Uh, there we go, Janet. She's a deep sleeper. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Does she sleep? Does she, like, be less tired or does she just not wake up when there's like a raider inside a shelter you know shooting up everyone I'm not not entirely sure uh, we will make her optimistic no resourceful uh, no optimistic first choice and the stat preset we'll just go with we'll go with um, logical I like that choice okay now the kids. I'm gonna randomize. First kid is gonna be Sandra. Why does everyone wanna be a deep sleeper? No. And there'll be a small eater, yeah. Less less food to be taken. And we will say that they are a smarty pants, okay. And the last child. We'll give her a brother. Henry. And I'm going to make him... Okay, someone needs a deep sleeper trait. We'll just give it to him. Alright, so he is going to be a know-it-all. That's kind of like the well-rounded stats for children. Okay. Oh, and we also get a pet. So I'm just going to randomize this a bunch of times. Now, the choice of pets is either a cat or a dog. I'm going to go with the dog just because, you know, post-apocalyptic... Scenario just seems perfect. Bandit, we'll call him. The Dean family. Uh, I do like that name, Bandit, though. Let's keep randomizing it to see what we can... Uh, see what name we can get here. The Hansen family. Uh, the Wood family. Frank Wood. I could have called them Underwood, but no, I won't do that. 
I'm going to call the uh, Dog Bandit. I do like that name. Alright. Would you like to play the tutorial? I'm going to say yes. It really isn't that much of a tutorial, but I just feel it's a good start. So here we go. We have the family. We have our shelter. They're just getting in here now. Your family found refuge, but they are not out of danger yet. They won't be safe from radiation until they're inside the shelter. Find a way into the shelter. Okay. So. I need to right click on this door to open it. My family needs to go through, but they're not moving because this second door is open. They are closed. Okay, they're inside now. We need to shut these doors. So normally what you'd do is open one. Let the person get inside, then close it, and then before opening the next one. That tutorial, though, you have to open both. Alright, so, this is our shelter so far. And uh, we need to get the generator running, so, Mark Wood is going to go over here and he's going to add fuel to the generator. It's quite simple, all you've got to do is right click. There we go. The shelter has power and can now be used as your family's home, as it were. This place is old and run down, but as long as we fix and upgrade the objects and systems in here, we'll be fine. Oh, we could go exploring outside, find items to craft with stuff that uh, stuff with. There's a map on the wall by the door. Good call. If we take care of our own needs too, we could stay here for a long time. Is anyone hungry or thirsty? So yeah. The way this is gonna go. You've gotta keep people clean healthy, fed, rested, hydrated, and then you've got to make sure the shelter is, oh, and um, what would I call this? Entertained, not bored. Basically something to keep their sanity in check. And then you still need to maintain the shelter. Now there's a few different cool things for the shelter. I'll show you quickly. Now before I get started, I just want to quickly check the settings. I'm wondering if there's a pause button. No, no pause, okay. Except for when you're on the menu, but you can't look at anything. So I have to use time wisely, so what we're gonna do. Janet, read the journal. Day one, barely, uh, made it barely. We only have each other for support. Our family lineup is Mark, Janet, Sandra, and Henry, and our pet dog, Bandit. It was lucky we stumbled across this abandoned war shelter. It seems to have seen better days. Maybe with some elbow grease, we can get it into good shape. Anything is better than where we came from. So, here we go. We've got to start work. First thing I'm going to do is upgrade the generator. I'm going to increase its durability. Now, every time you upgrade something, you'll get a menu like this. And basically, this will, this will change, but these two tend to be the same. Durability is always there. Now, I can only upgrade durability at the moment, so hopefully this will increase the durability of the generator by 10%, decreasing the speed at which it breaks down. So that's going to be good to have. Now, up here you've got your water filter. Uh, when it rains, water will come down and be collected into here. You've got the oxygen filter as well. Now, you can increase them to basically filter out most of the radiation. Now, what I need to do, I need a few basic things. We're going to need some sleeping bags. Now, I'm not sure. Alright, Henry. I need you to craft a toilet bucket and we're going to put that. See, so there's only a few places you can put this stuff. And from what I've read, if you keep it too close to the food, people can get food poisoning. So I do need... place where this isn't going to be an issue. Alright, so I'm going to cancel that. I need to move it, goddammit. Sorry, Janet. Okay. Now, 
let's do that again. We're gonna put the bed over here by the food. Henry, you make the poop bucket. Put it over here. What is that? It looks like mess on the floor. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Can I upgrade this yet? I can. Let's do that. So one thing you can do, now if I hit G I can bring up all the stats and this is very similar to The Sims. We basically have to keep these in check. Dirtiness, going to the bathroom, tiredness, hunger and thirst. Now, yeah, it's raining on the surface which is good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the home button. This basically automates people so they'll go and take care of their basic needs and I won't have to bother with it. Although. I am somewhat curious because where the dog go? Can I see the stats of the dog? Like, is the dog hungry? Yeah, I am worried in case they just keep eating food all the time, even if they don't need it. At which point. Oh my god, that might give the dog food poisoning. Oh. We'll have to be careful with that. Alright, so I can, can upgrade some stuff. I've also got a small crate. Let's have a look. So, we've got a few bits and bobs in here. Gas masks. Um, Anti-radiation tablets, buckets, fuel, things like that. So... That's good to know. Now I am going to need a shower. Janet, darling, can you please craft a shower? And we're going to have that here. You know what I'm thinking? We need to craft a snare trap. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I mean, you craft a, a snare trap and then... There's an animal up there, I imagine it'll be heavily radiated, but irradiated, but anyway, let's do a mop and bucket first. We're gonna need that and keep everywhere clean. Can I place it down here? There's no room. We're gonna need to expand that room, but I can't until we expand the shelter. There's like literally nowhere I can build this. Wow. Okay. Items take up a lot of room in this game. I think the dog's hungry. Now, I can't seem to... I can't cancel that. Maybe I have to hit C. Anyway. Fill the dog's bowl. He deserves to eat. Yeah, he's already coming up to eat. I'm not exactly sure what he's going through. It's like a... Ventilation shaft or what? Alright, so... Mark, how are you doing? You're getting very tired. You're wanting to take a shower. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Yeah, you take a shower first, and then... I'm just going to speed time up a little bit. Alright, now you sleep, yeah. I'm going to send him out soon. How's this looking? Water filter. It's fairly damaged, actually. Alright, Sandra. Fix the generator. They taught you this in school. Alright, and Janet, I know you're tired as well. We just don't have the room, unfortunately. I have to send one of these guys out ASAP. Oh, I can see that. Whoa! Who the hell's this? Mitt Michael? He looks kind of uh, dodgy. Uh oh. Alright, bandit. When I say sick him. Alright, I've got this. Okay, that sounds sketchy. Hey, that's a nice shelter you have there. How about I hop in there and join you? No. Get out of here. Yeah, get. Scram. Alright, she's exhausted. 
see, well, why would anyone ever outlaw child labour? I mean, look at this, this is great. Parents are resting and the kids are finally doing something. That just occurred to me, can this guy just like break my water filter and uh, oxygen filter? Alright, Henry, I know you're tired. Um, who's more tired? Alright, you take a sh shower. There we go. Dad needs to get up soon. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cancel the action. Then we're gonna set up an expedition. So we're gonna have Mark, the dad, and then no one else. And we're gonna go to... We've got a small farm, we've got a school, we've got a small house. Let him go to the school. And he's gonna need to take a gas mask. Uh, I say let's take a pipe as a weapon. There we go, so he's got a weapon just in case, just in case, that's all I'm saying. Um, is there any first aid just in case he should take that with him? No? Okay. Alright, he's going. I mean, I figured he'd have had a hazmat suit, but apparently it doesn't matter. Didn't that. Bad practice, that is. Okay. When Sandra... Okay, Mark's gone. Was it Mark or Frank? I forget. Anyway. When Sandra is showered, she's going up top to do a bit of work. All right, Henry, get on that radio. Okay, here's Mark. Why did I call him Frank? I don't know. All right, he stumbled across the school. It looks like it might have some good stuff. Want me to take a look? Yes. Okay, um, you take a suit. I'm amazed they have child sizes. Oh, she looks adorable. You need to go up there, fix that. Alright. Set the transmission. There's somebody in the school that looks like they want to talk. Alright, let's get involved. Hopefully this is okay. This will go smoothly. Hey now, you look like someone who knows how to survive Armageddon. This is what I've got to trade. Take it or le leave it, just don't piss me off. Oh god, he's got a knife. Well, if I like you or not, it doesn't matter. I didn't make any money caring what I thought of people. Okay, so he just wants to trade. Just wants to trade. There are items, he's got a petrol can. Wood. Switch. I had nothing to trade with. Alright, well. Man, you needed a deal before you jumped in. What's changed in the last few minutes? Because you got nothing. I've got nothing to trade you, mate. In this pipe, that's all I got. Trade resolved. So, when you resolve things, you'll get, like, experience. And increased stats. But, uh... Didn't get any there. Alright, he left me alone. Alright, let's examine the items. Okay, the school had a whole bunch of stuff. So, what did the school have? A sander, a book, chisel, matches, cement. So cement's going to be important because we'll use that to basically expand the base. Now we can make cement with sand and limestone. I wonder if the stronger they are, the more they can carry, or if it's a case of the more people you have. So, circuit breaker, circuit board, food rations, we're gonna need plenty of food. There's a bucket, the springs, we can use springs to make a bed. Metal, always useful I imagine. A lens, 
I don't know. I feel like I gotta prioritize this stuff. A switch sounds really useful. A sander could be useful. A chisel. Alright, I'm gonna take the metal, that seems good. The wood as well. And what else? Oh, I don't know. Choices. Oh, wait, we're full. Alright, never mind. So we're gonna com confirm that, and he's gonna make his way back because he's got nowhere else to go. Oh, this kid's gonna go crazy, man. <laughs> Sandra working hard up there. There's a clipboard here, I haven't seen that before. Sleeping, okay, this gives you the rundown of all of the, the stuff. Water filter had the lowest durability, Sandra's currently fixing that. Oxygen filter, oh, makeshift shower is gonna need repairing. This kid needs... Okay, that's the dad. Alright, kid, fix the shower, you'll go to sleep soon. Alright, location searched one, increase his perception a little bit. That's cool. And I can take the items. I do have a limited uh, amount of storage in here. We're gonna need the food, of course, that is very important. Confirm. <laughs> Hey, he's still feeling fairly okay. Now what we want to make is a... Shelter room. Now, in order to do that... We're gonna need cements now. I can make... How much cements? Oh, here we go, we got some stats. The amount of food and medicine and all that left over. Alright, so let's take another look at this. we still got two cements. I can't make any more cement though, so I'm going to have to do another run outside at some point. Let's take a look at the, craft the other crafting items while we're here. So this is tier 1 stuff. We can make a bookshelf, which basically is for storing books and reading books provide stress release for grown-ups. Toy book box, which is the same but for children. You got your snare trap for catching little animals that run across the surface. A shelter room, which is basically the rooms that you can see here, uh, but we can expand it like basically all this dirt. Ladder, so that's moving between up and down. You've got your small water butt, which basically contains water. A grave for when someone dies and you can bury them. And now that's going to happen a lot. In fact, I'm not sure how well I'm going to, you know, be doing with this. So I expect a few restarts, but we'll see. I can make a pantry for storing more food units. We can make an incinerator for destroying excess items. And here we go, we can basically make more stuff, improve the shower, improve the pantry. A satchel, so that's carrying extra items, which is actually pretty useful. Improve the toilets, a comfier bed, and I'm guessing these things like speed up, you know, sleeping and stuff. Punching bag, oh, so you can basically train a skill. That's cool, because while you've got people doing nothing, you could have them train up. I like that. Poor stove. Red paint. I wonder if you can paint the walls. Uh, a light. Crafting and repairer and repairing is slower in rooms without a light. Okay. So basically it could be pitch black in a room. Got it. Small crate for storing stuff. And we basically keep improving. But now we've got like bulletproof vests to stop a, a single bullet. What else do we have? Comfy bunk bed. Now that would be useful. Two people in there since you've got limited room. Jukebox. Solar panel. Large pantry. Efficient toilets. Excellent stove. Planter. So this is the last item. With this planter you can grow your own food. 
a must have for the hardened survivalist so that would be extremely useful to have and then the special which I'm guessing is schematics or plans that you can find while out in the world anyway this is my first look at shelter I'll continue to play it I'll continue to give you updates I'll go over patch notes when patches are released but uh, yeah hopefully you'll enjoy this and you'll want more anyway thanks for watching until next time